Sid, the Science Kid. What's that smell? Written by Jennifer Frantz. Ew! I smell something not so good," said Sid. "It's my baby brother Zeke's diaper." Breakfast is almost ready," said Mom. She carried Zeke to the kitchen. "Icky," said Sid. "If Zeke is in the kitchen now, how can I still smell him? What's the big idea? How can you smell things that are far away?" Sid wanted to know. Mom said, "Sid, do you notice a funny smell coming from Zeke?" "Oh, dirty diaper," said Dad. "I'm on it." "How could I smell Zeke's diaper from down the hall?" said Sid. "You know," said Mom, "Zeke's diaper isn't the only thing you can smell from far away." Sid closed his eyes. "You are right," he said. I can smell Dad's famous pancakes. Good," said Mom. "It's time to eat breakfast before you are late for school." At school, Sid asked his friends about smells. "Have you ever smelled something that was far away?" he said. "Yes," said May. "We have flowers in our garden that I can smell inside our house." My aunt Peggy made a blueberry pie," said Gerald. I could smell it from across the kitchen. My uncle Roy's feet," said Gabriella. "He has smelly socks. Yuck!" "Come on in," said Teacher Susie. "It's rock time." Everyone sat on the rug. We were talking about smelling things that are far away," said May. "Does the wind blow smells around?" said Gabriella. "Close," said Teacher Susie. Smells are teeny tiny things called molecules," said Teacher Susie. "They can travel in the air even without wind. Then they land in your nose." "I don't see any molecules," said May. "Molecules are too small to see with our eyes," said Teacher Susie. "We use our noses to smell them. That's our sense of smell." Wow," said Sid. "So that's how we smell." "That's right," said Teacher Susie. "Let's take our noses to the Super Fab Lab to find out more." "No picking," said Teacher Susie. "Each cup has food in it. Guess what food you smell." "Hmm, this one smells like Grandma's cookies," said May. "Cinnamon." "This one smells like movies." Said Gerald, "It's popcorn." This one smells a little spicy. Said Sid, "Is it mustard?" "Nope." Said Gabriella, "It's onions." Back at home, Sid smelled something nice coming from the kitchen. Flowers, he said. "Good job, nose." Said Sid, "I'm sure glad you can smell molecules, even ones from stinky diapers." When Sid smells something funny coming from the other room, he just has to know. Why can you smell things from far away? Ah, it's molecules.